uh, we installed um, the Lely A5s back in uh, 2018 and we've been running for almost 12 months now um, and it, the system's been running really well. Um, the, the transition from the old dairy to the new dairy was surprisingly good and surprisingly quick. Um, because we're a pasture based system, the cows are used to coming and going. The only difference was uh, teaching them or allowing them to learn themselves to come any time of the day or night when they feel like it, which they certainly do now, and they took to it amazingly well. Uh, so with the T4C, um, it is very user friendly. Uh, once you get your head around it, um, it takes a couple of days to work out how to find things. Um, but with the backup uh, service that we have, um, yeah, it, the data that you can use out of it is very, very good. Um, coming from a very simple system where we didn't have much information, um, we used to herd test every five weeks and you'd get a snapshot of what's happening at the time. Um, now we've got that herd test information or more than that information every time a cow's milked. We've been able to pretty much cut away all our preg testing that the vets used to come and do and we pretty much solely uh, use the data for, with the activity um, to work out if cows are in calf or not. I, I don't think we've quite uh, used as much as what's there in the mobile version of our, of our system yet, but we definitely use it all the time for our calving cows and the health treatments that you can use your phone out in the paddock and input the information you need to on the go. Uh, and also with routing cows as well, if you need cows to go to certain areas, you can do it straight on your phone and it's ready to go. Cow health has certainly improved, particularly with lameness. We're getting a lot less lame cows. Um, and we, we think that's due to the fact in the old shed we were pushing all of our cows into the one yard all the time. They're standing on the concrete for a long time. Uh, and you open the, the gate in the herringbone to let them into a row and they would push and shove and bully each other, which you don't get in the new system. They do, you still have the dominant cows and they'll push another cow out of the way, but it's nothing like, like the old system. So the cows are a lot calmer, a lot quieter. We've always had quiet cows, but the new system really does allow them to come and go as they please. And if they're not comfortable being in a spot, they'll just, just stand back and hang there until they are. With the grazing, um, our cows are having to walk a, a fair distance to the back paddocks that we have here. Um, so our longest uh, grazing paddocks are about 1.2 k's. Um, and they have been uh, moving reasonably well. So with, with the grazing, um, it, it's certainly, certainly working, yep. And so the old system, uh, we had one big rotation, so the cows would, would go morning and night to pasture, and now with the robots, we have an ABC grazing. So they're in three different pasture sections uh, for the day all year round. The support that we've had from the Laley Centre has been amazing, right through from um, setting up uh, the, the plan of how we were going to build the shed, through to the installation and the um, after installation support we've had. They can either tell us what we need to do or what we were after, or they will find out more information for us and get back to us. Going the, the robot path um, was, a, was a big, uh, we did have to absolutely discuss and, uh, and figure out if that was the right way to go and, and absolutely we hands down uh, agree that it is absolutely uh, the way for our farm to go. And the, the, the biggest thing I suppose was the fact that we couldn't get away from a conventional dairy, we really needed two of us here all the time and those two people would be me and my brother milking cows twice a day, every day for the next 20 years. So uh, Laley Robots provided a way for us to milk the cows and one of us could be somewhere else, spending time with our family, getting home early. And we couldn't do that in a conventional system. We, myself and my brother, are third uh, generation far dairy farmers. And it'd be great to see a fourth generation uh, dairy farmer uh, here.
Yes. <laughs>